there's something going on downstairs. I hate this bridge. It's very scary. I get vertigo every time I cross over it. And now it's steps down to the dungeon. Hey, there's some light coming from the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, it's no longer no longer dark down here. No. Hi, Eddie. Hi, I see you're ripping up boards. Yeah, this is the old old cedar paneling, I guess. It was formed like plywood. This was installed in the 1950s, we're guessing. Um, if you come around here, uh, if you stand over there, I think the lighting might be better. You might see see what's going on a little bit better. Yeah, it's, um, it's better. I, I stripped away uh, part of the old burnt built-out countertop that was here. This was part of the old kitchen that caught fire 19 years ago in September. Yes. September of 1994. I still see the 19-year-old burn marks behind you. Yes, you can see. Well, this is where the fire was. This is yeah. where the fire started. And this is, uh, there was a, <clears throat> on a built-out countertop here, there was um, a countertop cooktop. That's where the burners were, a gas burner. This is the gas line to the gas right. supply. And then over here, there were some stacked ovens. And this was all built into the corner, you know, the, the corner that makes the stairwell. And I guess somebody, whoever was living here at the time must have left something on the stove or in the oven or something and it caught fire and it just, you know, it burned, you know, this hole in the ceiling and left these burn marks. However, yeah. though over the, over the decades, people have been putting paneling and plasterboard and stuff over the original walls. The original walls are beadboard. Mm -hmm. And you can see some of the beadboard back here. Yes. Um, it might be a little dark, but, but yeah, there, there it is. Yeah, see if it'll acclimate. No, it okay. doesn't acclimate. Okay, but anyway, uh, the, the, the built-out counter that was here, um, you know, I used a crowbar to pry it off of whatever it was attached to. It didn't seem to be attached to the floor. It seemed to be attached to this post and this wall. And so it's over here, and I've got pieces of... Uh, you know, layers of the paneling, and they, they break up pretty easily. Yeah. And so I'm putting them in this box, and we're, we're going to use this for, for firewood for our, our outdoor fireplace that's out on the back patio. Yes. And we're gonna, we're gonna, this is going to be our, our supply of fire kindling for the winter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to get cold, yeah, cooler it's, this yeah, week. Yeah, it's supposed to be. We're supposed to have, I think we're in for a, a cool winter. But I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to stack this over here. I've been using this crowbar, basically, to loosen everything. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do right now, because this is what was left behind, and because, you know, because this is, because this is where the, where the heart of the fire was, this is a lot of wall board and cabinet material that just burned into charcoal. Yeah, so I'm they, gonna, yeah. I'm going to shovel it and put it into this bucket, and I'm going to basically, um, put it around the plants in the backyard because yeah. I think that might be good for That's them. That's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Whoops. we got a big piece of paper in here. Yeah. That doesn't go. That goes here in the trash. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay. So anyway, that's what I'm up to for now. Okay. I'll, I'll come and get you when I make more progress. Okay. okay. Thank you.